dear friend. We spent many years in politics together. She is the current president to the California Chiropractic Association. More so than that, she is a woman on fire, the CEO of WOW. She's still in practice, graduated Life West in 1999, and she's never looked back. I'm telling you, she's making a difference in our association and fighting for our rights in Sacramento. She's cleaned house, she's put up the fight, she's had a big target on her back. Let's welcome my close friend, Dr. Leslie Hewitt. We love. Yes, yes, money by Pink Floyd. Follow the money, right? That's the politics of the day. Follow the patent is the politics of the day. I'm the fourth female president of the California Chiropractic Association since 1928. Ladies, <laughs> ladies, stand up. Ladies, stand up. Doctors of chiropractic, moms, girls, thank you. You can have a seat. I feel so supported up here by you ladies, and I'm going to be a whistleblower on them because I've been hearing them for 20 years tell me behind the curtains and behind closed doors, we need more women on stage. We need more women in chiropractic. Right, ladies? And finally, 50% of our graduates coming out of all chiropractic colleges, the med schools, MBA as well, law schools, 50% women are graduating. And there's an incredible, yes, please, ladies. And we're not bossy. <laughs> we just have leadership skills. And it's time for us to bring these leadership skills to chiropractic. Because what we bring as women in chiropractic is we bring an opportunity to be more relational. And I want to just acknowledge the men. Men, you rock. You've been, yes, holding the space and protecting chiropractic since the 1800s. And we have different primal brain functions as men and women. You're the hunters, we're the gatherers. You're here to protect the profession. And for the first time ever, we've got over 50% women coming into the profession. And it's an opportunity for the women to get into the mom groups, the meetups, and the mommy and me groups that Sherry shared are misinformed. It's time for us moms and women of chiropractic to start infiltrating those mommy and me groups because they are so misinformed, right? And it's time for us women to get into those groups. And men, we appreciate your protection and your support and holding space because that's truly divine masculine. And the divine feminine is here to say, it's time for us to step up as the priestesses that we are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so women are the number one consumer in healthcare, and we're making about 87% of the purchasing decisions out there, and that includes healthcare. So it's time for us to start educating them so they can make an informed choice because we know they're misinformed. It's time for women in chiropractic to really raise chiropractic as the cultural authority when raising families and raising children. So I want to share a couple of whistleblowing things that I've learned as a politician, as president of the California Chiropractic Association, which by the way, is the sixth leading economy in the world, following the United States, China, Japan, Germany, and the UK. We're the only state that can stand up to those five countries. 
So we have an incredible opportunity in California, and yes, we do have a target on our back here. We have an incredible opportunity to raise our political know-how. And I can tell you, as president of the California Chiropractic Association, the politicians want us to get this right. They're looking for a non-drug solution. And the medical model is coming in with more meds called MAT, medically assisted treatment for an opioid epidemic.